my chicken's on fire. Ugh. When you say that it's one of those beer can chicken kind of days, it's because uh, you've been talking to privileged white men all day uh, and you're sick of it. It is hard, hard to break through. And, you know, it, I, I know that even as women, we know a lot of, a lot of what's going on because I, I, I think that my husband was offended by uh, a comment that someone made to him about um, him not, um, let me teach you something. It was very condescending. And I, and I was in the same email chain and I was like, oh yeah, I got that. And I just went, yep, because do you know how many times I've heard that as a woman? Oh, how about oh, oh, you're tell so me word for that, Debriana? It's called mansplaining. In mansplaining. Okay, let me tell you this great I, mansplain, I mansplain story. Mansplain. My husband was mansplaining. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I, I said to David, Oh yeah, I've been so mansplained my whole life. How about this? I was working on a film. And it was all men. I was the only woman on the set. I was How the only How many times can we say that happened? Okay, so I'm playing a cop and I'm supposed to get shot. And I've been um, condescended to, let's just say, all day by the director. Now the director's the end of the day and he's feeling pressured because he's not getting the shots on time. It's I think it's his first big movie from what I understood. So I'm supposed to come out from around this corner of the building and then <clears throat> I'm supposed to be shot in the leg, sort of limping toward the, you know, the poor, the poor girl. So, um, so I'm getting ready to shoot and I'm standing behind the building and he yells out to me, okay, Debriana, why don't you just punch yourself in the leg a few times so that you get the feeling of it? And I stuck my head out from around the corner and I went, so-and-so? I'm an actor. That's why you hired me. I got this. I oh was oh my god. <laughs> and I had a lot of men friends, actor friends on that set who almost like said something wow. and they told me that later they were I didn't know if anyone else noticed it cuz you know you're wow. so used to it all the time. Yeah. They were so offended by the way I had been treated the whole time. So so at the end of the film, I'm there the last day of the shoot at the last hour, we're wrapping the whole movie. So I go into my trailer and I change my clothes and I always try and get my stuff organized for a wardrobe and especially, you know, then the last minute. So I went over to wardrobe and I said, do you want me to um, bring these back to you over here or over there? And she goes, I don't fucking care, just keep it. <laughs> and I went, oh, you too? <laughs> so, yeah. There's a lot about this whole time that we understand deeply as women, but I am not even equating it to, you know, what um, black people have felt or people of color have felt. It's just that I have an inkling of it. That's right. An inkling is a good way to, to describe it. Um, God, I know it when I see it. But if you want to tell like stories from the set, my God, we could write another book. Um, <laughs> When I, my day on Longmire, oh my God, all men. And then the, the, the assistant to the director goes, yeah, the director, can you show up in sweatpants? And I was like, okay, because we don't want any of the crew to see your legs. Cause it's that, you know, it's going to be all day and they're just going to get into a frenzy. And I'm like, what? I'm like, excuse me? It was the oddest thing because I was the only woman and they didn't want them to, they did not want them to Don't see show me. your legs. What is this, 1910? Self-control? <laughs> I was just like, Jesus Christ. I was just, oh my God, that whole thing was outrageous. But anyways. Anyway, thank right. God we get to make chicken today. <laughs> We're all riled up today. <laughs> Oh my God, I, I am such a fanatic about doing like beer can chicken or, I mean, I've done it with a different kinds of beers, but today we're, I'm gonna do my, my trick on it, which is non-alcoholic and it's soda. <laughs> what kind of soda? Well, 
I was going to make a sort of Asian inspired um, spiced chicken. So I got ginger ale and Ooh. I knew I wanted a good ginger ale. So I went to the store and they had no canned ginger ale, only bottled. Only reads probably. Yep. So I got a can of so of of Sandra. Yeah, okay. I'm going to empty it and put the ginger ale in it. <laughs> that is so funny. I've never ever heard of anyone doing that. <laughs> well, it's Corona. <laughs> and there you go. Oh, you can use a little. Oh, it looks, it's very orangey. I was going to add an orange to this anyway. <laughs> and then the magic hands show us <laughs> the Pellegrino. Well, I'm going to taste how orangey it is. I love that orange Pellegrino. Oh, so it's very orangey. I'm going to leave some in here. I love that. Okay. So I have several ways to do this. One, this is how I do it in the oven. I have this handy dandy ceramic pan. Okay. And you can pour your liquid ingredients here, sit the chicken on it, and then put all your like vegetables around the side of it. That's one way to do it. Okay. Debriana, folks, is showing us her canned chicken accessory collection. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the one for the grill because I have done a a chicken off where I've had three different chickens with three oh. different flavors. Does this surprise me that you've done a chicken off? No. Um, wow. Look this at is that. how you hold it up. <laughs> Look at that thing. Wow. And that's the one I'm going to use today because I am putting it on the grill and that will go on the grill. Oh my gosh. So you're going to do the beer can chicken on the grill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I soaked my chicken in buttermilk first. Obviously, you don't have to do that. <laughs> but here she is, all dried off. Oh, what a she, beauty. What a beauty queen. <laughs> she gorgeous? <laughs> she is gorgeous. Thank you for giving your life, chicken. I'm closing, I'm closing my rubber chicken's eyes. <laughs> no jealousy, no judgment here. We're okay. sensitive on Corona Kitchen to every every <laughs> former sinful being. Oh God! So this is this was soaking in buttermilk that had salt and some spices in it. Like I had a cinnamon stick, some um, uh, star anise, black, uh, white peppercorns. Wow! What else did I put in there? A couple of cloves. And how been, long? How long did it sit in the buttermilk bath? Well, uh, today I had to get I I. I didn't get the buttermilk yesterday like I had thought I would, so it's only been in since this morning. I don't know, about six hours. Okay. I, okay. Typically, I'd way prefer to have it in the buttermilk 24 hours. Then I took it out and I dried her off because you don't, you can't get crispy skin if the skin is too wet. That is a really good tip. Uh, Milton saying hi. He loves the magic hands, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass that on. <laughs> so magic hands, whenever you want to appear. Magic magic hands. Hands. Milton loves the magic hands. What? Go for I it. Mean, it's like oh, a there they are again. Look at that. <laughs> Jerry Lewis, I see Milton and I see Peggy. <laughs> Instead oh. of a mirror, I'm using my little cast iron. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna make a spice rub for the outside first. Oh God, that sounds good. So I, I, was coming know, to dinner. I will toast things first. I'm going to put a good tablespoon I'm gonna do one more, of white peppercorns. Yum. I, I just feel like that's a more delicate-ish flavor for what we're doing. I have these weird things of cinnamon chunks. Cinnamon chunks? Is that a, the technical term? What are the <laughs> yes? Chunky, chunky. Instead of stick. Chunky and you just made the stick chunky. Okay. I, I didn't do it. I bought it that way. I don't know why I have that, but I do. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna use it. I've never heard of it. <laughs> and then I have a couple of cloves. I'm gonna just do a few of those. 
I love clove. And I'm going to get my star anise. Do you love star anise? I love star anise. I love star anise and cloves. All the different things oh, that you're describing are just a lovely, lovely flavor palette. Oh my God. See, how, see what they look like? They're little stars. They're so beautiful and they taste so good. Oh, they're just wonderful. So I'm going to add a couple of those. They're very potent, so I'm not going to add a lot. Yeah, um, don't over star anise it, okay? <laughs> I'm just warning you. And I'm going to do some fennel. Oh my gosh, that's going to be good. Okay, now I'm going to toast it. Mm. Toasty, toasty. And then I will. Now that's basically what's in a five spice powder. So right. if you don't have all that stuff in your cupboard, go get a good spi five, five, five spice powder. This Sometimes one they powder. call it Chinese five spice. Yeah, this is the organic one, which I love. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And in the meantime, I'm going to empty out my ginger. You're going to want to put like about, pour off about a good quarter of the um, liquid out of the can, whatever that is. So 75% full. Yeah. Now, what I prefer to do is um get try and get this lid off i don't know if i'm going to be able to do it. oh yeah this is going to work with a can opener yeah it's like i'm getting it off with the can opener and you can um because i'm going to add stuff to it if you don't want to add a whole bunch of stuff to it then you don't have to do it this way but see you can see in there there's a the little how, soda how long do you think beer can chicken the concept has been around and who started it <laughs> some guy in a trailer <laughs> i need something to stand up my chicken oh look, look, this will work i got this beer here and i got a chicken <laughs> my two favorite flavors <laughs> yes so i am going to i want a little less orange i'm going to pour this in your glass Okay, and I'm going to add the ginger soda. Now, this is so fascinating that you couldn't find a can of ginger ale and you have, know, to, replace it. There. You have to replace it. I know. Oh, these are starting to smell really good. Someday we'll have smell a vision and I can smell that because it yeah. looks really good. Smell a vision. Let, let's contact Zuckerberg. <laughs> Zuckerberg, come on, develop the television. Yeah, right. So I'm going to put in a clove of garlic in here that I smashed a little bit to try to get, you know, a little more flavor going. For those who don't know, what happens with the can? What's the whole thing with the can? Well, I'm going to show you. Okay. <laughs> I'm just not ready to show you yet. Okay. Okay. So these are toasty. All right, I'll be patient. Just be patient, honey. It'll, it'll all, it will all reveal itself. I'm gonna make a true confession right now. Okay. I've never made the beer can chicken. Oh no! You I've had, had it. Lived. I've had it at other people's houses, but I've never made it myself. And I'm. I I really like using a stout beer, like a chocolate. Oh, yeah. Stout. Um, but there's so many great flavors. I've done it with hard cider. Um, no. it, it, it's just, um, I love playing with all those flavors. So, um, this is fun for me. I'm living vicariously through you, but I, again, I do that every day. <laughs> I know somehow we get to do this every day. <laughs> what day are we on? What, how many episodes? <laughs> I think it's 85. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> I know we're totally insane people. <laughs> I I apologize for my um, post today about the show. It had unicorns and kittens and rainbows. Right? That's where I <laughs> was today. That's where I was. Okay. Here we go. That's my state of mind. Okay, so of course this is my coffee grinder that I don't use for anything but spices. It's the spice grinder. You can call it the spice grinder now, Debriana. You don't have to keep it. 
coffee grinder that does the spices. <laughs> oh my gosh, this smells incredible. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. So if once you start toasting spices, you'll never go back. It really no, I don't think you will. I, I don't think you will. All right, so here's my beautiful chickie. Oh, okay. is it sweet? I'm going to put a little sesame oil on her. Rub, I'm going to give her a good rub down. With some sesame Do you oil. get that chicken from your meat supplier or the store? Yes, from Oink Box. Okay. Oh, she left. She left her toilet paper in there. I'm just toilet kidding. paper. Toilet paper. What? I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> All right, so now she's all rubbed down with, um, I used sesame oil, and I'm gonna rub her with these spices, giving her a good chicken massage. That's gonna be so good, and I have no dinner plans. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are always welcome, my friend. <laughs> I think we're going to Jumbo, or oh, we're gonna get takeout from Jumbo. Well, that's good. I, that's, I love that place. And me too. I buy spices from them. Do you go to their spice place? You know, I've never been to the store part. Oh, I love going in there. I want to go check it out because I'm always too in a hurry, but now I'm not. <laughs> I know. Like, where are we going now? No. Okay, so my wow. chickie's all dressed up in her spices. That chicken looks like really healthy and amazing. I've been buying chickens at like sprouts. They don't even compare. No. But I tell you, I will put the link to Moink Box. I've turned several friends on to Moink Box already. I love them. I love the people that run it. You actually talk to them if you have, if you want to. I do, and um, and I really like them. Okay, so here's the here's the moment of truth. This is the can. Okay. This is the chicken's butt. <laughs> the chicken is going to sit on top of the can okay where is it there it is and the legs are going through these little holes and it will stand up there all right <laughs> there there's the chicken now <laughs> i can't get it it's too dark you can't get in the chicken here this is like, and then how is it going to go on the grill just like this I'm going to put it on the grill like this. Okay. The grill is going to be um, at le like a medium high heat. And it's going to be there for about um, an hour to an hour and a half. I guess it kind of depends on how, you know, I can never really tell how the grill is. Until the chicken is 165 or the juices run clear, however you guys do it. Are you going to take us outside to your grill? Yeah. Why? Yay, we get to go outside. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm going to bring it outside to my grill. You could put it in the oven. I mean, if I were doing it in the oven, I might stand it in a cast iron. Um, so that, you know, but it's, if you don't have a holder, it's a, it, you have to depend on the chicken legs and the can to hold it up. Okay. But it can be done. Can I just play devil's advocate or wait, can I just ask a question? Yes. It's not really devil's advocate. That's the wrong. What's the question, honey? Um, so if you put it on a grill, how does the top part get cooked? Uh, the same way it would in the oven. Because <laughs> it's closed. Because it's on the top. No, it's closed. Oh, you can close the grill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> See, I just think of like an open barbecue grill. I don't know. I'm not no, a barbecue. No, I'm going to close it. I'm going to close it. So the other thing I'm going to do when this is about, you know, three quarters of the way done. Yeah. Remember that chamomile syrup I made? Yes. I am going to use that to baste the chicken so it gets crispy, crispy on the outside. I don't want to put sugar on it now because the sugar will burn it with the... Um, chicken being in there for so long. So at so, the end, towards the end, you put it? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add to the chamomile some of this ginger. I got this weird ginger drink. It's 100% ground ginger. Debriana, I just want to tell the studio audience, um, Debriana 
makes these magical things happen with things she finds in her kitchen. It's fascinating. I know. I'm like, what's that? So I looked at it and I was like, if I would have ever seen to do that, that's like, for me, that would be like, oh, wow, look at that packet of emergency. Let's put it on the chicken. I don't, I don't so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And when you do it, it turns out really great. <laughs> Well, it's all a, an experiment. It's all I can tell you. It's awesome. But cooking is that. And see, that's what people need to understand, too, is adventure. You have to try stuff. It's exciting. Yeah. It's exciting. Well, the, you know, like, how wrong could I possibly go? <laughs> Everything's going to taste good. You did the buttermilk. You can't go wrong. No, no. So I'm just going to put it in the, you know, in the grill and... It's going to be a roast chicken. Somebody just said, come on, episode 100. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to have something new on episode 100. That We're going to have to do a really special thing for that episode. I think we should. <laughs> what? Hey, everybody, give us some ideas. Like, should we have a marching band? What should we do? Let's see. <laughs> Fireworks? <laughs> Yeah, uh, no. Oh my God, wait a minute. That might even be on July 4th, the 100th episode. It could happen. <laughs> we do have some guests lined up. We'll see where they end up. Um, and we have some some a new addition coming to the show that will be a part of the show, but we just haven't completed that part yet. You know. When I... I'm working really hard on some other things. But I, I like it. It's just not ready for air yet. I know. But, it's coming. So it may be episode 100. Who knows? It will be so fun when we once we get it on the show. <laughs> and then we'll put it on every episode. Uh-oh, that was a tip. That was a tip off. Whoops, to, oops, to oops. It, but, oh, well. Just to figure it out. Uh. So that's my story with my chicken. Now I now I can drink the ginger beer. I love ginger beer. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, well, are we going out? It's very gingery. That's what I wanted. If it wasn't gingery enough, I would have added some of that ginger powder or or piece of ginger in there. That's going to be so tasty. Are we going outside right now? Um, wait. Could. I haven't started the grill. Oh, D David's going to start the grill first. So I think what I'm going to do is um, turn the grill, all the burners on, till okay. it comes to temperature. Then I'm going to turn one, one or two of them off, so it's not super hot. So it it's about. I'm going to try and guess that that it's about between 375, 350. So the heat created by the flames when you close it cooks the chicken. And well, it's going to be on. Some of the burners are going to be on. I'm just not going to have it on the direct heat. Right. It'll be indirect. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the reason I'm doing it outside today is because it's hot. I don't want to do it in the oven. It's, it's a hot. beautiful day. Yeah. Beautiful day. Yeah. So I'm going to do it outside. I'm going to grill some bok choy for the for the veggie of it. Yum. Okay. Someone said closing the cover? Question mark. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you're closing the cover. It that makes the grill like it's an oven, right? And you know, you know, I'm not going to want to lift it up for about at least the first thirty minutes. What kind of grill do you guys have? Should a Weber. Do you want to go out? out? I think we should talk a little grill right now and just. <laughs> Let's. Um... Well, we'll see how much uh, uh, connectivity we have. I should think I we can get up. On the porch. So no, let's go. Just go. Let's okay. just go. David's gonna hoping bring for the best, hoping for the best with the internet. Yeah, we're here. We're hoping for the best with the internet. Here comes the chicken. Uh oh. Well, everybody follow, follow Debriana outside to her barbecue. Here she goes. Well, there's a cat in the way. Hang on. Oh. He's very slow. Oh. Okay, oh. sweet. Go on. Go on. Cat crossing. Cat crossing. <laughs> <laughs> He's very he's very nervous on steps because he can't Aww. see. He's he's totally blind. He's blind. Yeah. Uh -huh. So oh he, my god, he, he made it. Well, yeah, he waits for me to step. go down. There Two he steps. Goes. There we go. One step for kitty kind. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I lost my right. mind. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, that's very nice. Okay. Yeah. So we took the interior um, shelf out. Okay. So that the chicken can go in. Okay. And and not get you know not hit against anything. So what if somebody has asking for a friend? A little one of those tiny little Weber grills. <laughs> you mean like a charcoal grill? Yeah. I <laughs> don't know. I okay. would use the intertubes for that. I'm sure you can do it on there. I just don't know how to do it because I I don't know if it would cook the same way. I think it would be too high also. I don't think there's enough head space, headroom on there. <laughs> Well, see, not not seeing the grill, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get into that later. Okay. Rest assured, you can do this in the oven. <laughs> right. So, if you were doing it in the oven, you you'd take all of the racks out and have it be on the very bottom so it could stand up. Yeah. And okay. so, see, the thing about the the chicken or, or that the beer or the soda is it it boils in there and it right. releases steam into the inside of the chicken which is why it's so tender and okay. moist okay so that that's why you do it that way that's the mystery of the beer can chicken that's the mystery of the beer can chicken <laughs> wow and then it's going to be what did you say how long Does about anywhere i was going to say somewhere between an hour to an hour and a half in there more it's usually like hour 15 hour 20. and you checking it yeah, I'll check it after about a half an hour. I'm going to want to make sure it's not like too hot on one side. I might want to turn it. Um, I'll check it at again at an hour and then I'll see what the temperature is because um, it's when it's getting close. I'm going to want to put that glaze on it. Right now with you outside and your name across the screen, you look like you're a reporter and you're about to say, you know, it's in Deptana from KRAP in Mexico. I'm here, I'm out here in the Mancini yard, and this is a grill. <laughs> there, there is a dead chicken. There is a dead chicken. I have to report. Vegetarians beware. <laughs> Vegetarians and vegans beware. No offense. No offense. There's, there's no white van. It's just a dead chicken. <laughs> white Bronco. That's Remember the white Bronco. Oh my God! Who could forget that? Oh my God! Okay, that's my story. Well, I can't wait to see the pictures of what this looks like. Yes, it will be beautiful. I'm sure. I bet it's gonna Lisa be. will be. We'll be bringing you pictures live from 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 the grill area and live then from the grill. studio. This is Debriana. <laughs> Live from the man, but live from the Forcini backyard. This is Debriana. Over to you, Lisa. Thank you, Debriana. That was a <laughs> fabulous expose on the bear can chicken. <laughs> oh my god! Next, next up, <laughs> the world falls apart. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, next, oh my god! I don't even want to know what next. Next up, we're going to the hummingbird feeder. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice. Yes. Love hummingbirds. Oh, uh, yes. They're, we actually do have quite a few of them. So they're so beautiful. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, enjoy your, they can do it. Enjoy your dinner. It's going to be delicious. Thank you. Thank you. I will post pictures. I'll post the recipe. Thank you, everybody. I can't wait. I'm going to try <laughs> it. Manja, be safe. Wear a mask. It's not over. And we're...